Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine now has the full stamp of approval from the FDA. This paves the way for a slew of new vaccine mandates in businesses and schools, but questions are still out there. The FDA's approval only applies to people over the age of 16. We have a ways to go before younger children are authorized to get vaccinated. Chrissy Diaz joins us live from Emory University, which is actually part of a clinical trial for Moderna's vaccine with more on those next steps. Good morning, Aisha. Even though the FDA has approved the Pfizer vaccine, right now that is only for those 16 and up. They still don't recommend that children uh, 11 years old or younger get the vaccine just yet. There are still several steps that need to happen before we get full approval for kids. Take a look at this graphic. It kind of breaks down who is approved and who is not. Right now, there is full approval for anyone 16 and up. Kids between the ages of 12 and 15 can get the shot, but it's under the emergency use authorization. And then anyone 11 or younger, it's not approved for them at all. Now, health experts say we have more information about this vaccine and its safety and its efficacy than almost any other vaccine in history. But vaccinating younger children requires extra scrutiny and study, and clinical trials are still underway for those age groups. So the FDA is waiting for that data before they give anyone under 16 full approval. What we need to do for children is figure out what the right approach for them are. Their immune systems work a little bit differently than adults. Their physiology is different. And so we need to figure out the right dosage, the right intervals, and really the right type of overall approaches for them that might be a little bit different than adults. So what's the timeline here? Well, emergency use authorization for kids 5 to 11 years old is expected in the fall or the winter. Some reports say Pfizer may have enough data by the end of September. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But for any children even younger than that, it's going to take a little longer. Aisha. All right, Chrissy, thank you. So with us only talking about Pfizer getting that FDA approval, the people who got Moderna or Johnson & Johnson, they're like, wait a minute, what about the vaccine I got? Let's break it down for you. Not all vaccines are in the same stage of the process. Pfizer and BioNTech, they applied for full approval back in May. Moderna didn't apply until June. J&J &J say they plan to file for full approval later this year, so that hasn't even happened yet. The length of time for approval, it also won't be the same for everyone. The FDA needs six months of data before a company can even apply for that full approval. That is why Moderna and J&J &J are approved for emergency use authorization only. So will FDA approval lead to a change of heart for people who are still skeptical about getting the vaccine? We are where Atlanta speaks and we're hearing from you in just a few minutes.